Hey everyone. So topic today is babies, infants, and allergies. And this was uh, inspired by a conversation with some friends at dinner the other night where an 18 month old, and I'll keep all names private obviously, 18 month old with dad's history of asthma has been dealing with tree nut allergies and certain food allergies. And mom, unfortunately, in the diaper bag carries around Claritin for any possible reactions. He's 18 months old and she's carrying around Claritin. Many of you might be doing the same thing. So I want to shed some light on some connections between asthma allergies and infants. My goal, my conversation is always around the nervous system controls everything in the body, helps your body heal, helps your body regulate, helps your body function. Everything is under that window and umbrella. So when we look at the chart behind me, brain sends messages to spinal cord and specific nerve roots connect to every part of the body for function and optimal health. Specifically, and only in babies and infants, there's the thymus gland, T-H-Y-M-U-S, you can Google it. It's responsible for immune cell and immune system development. The specific nerve supply in an infant from here is right up at the third thoracic nerve, okay? The same area and the same region of nerve output goes to the lungs and the sympathetic nervous system, and there's a huge correlation between asthma and resolution of asthma with chiropractic when we adjust this area. So dad has a long history and a, uh, a long history of asthma, and it basically stopped bothering him and challenging him when he started swimming in, in university and he put a lot of spinal motion through that area. It made sense to me. But the spinal pattern and the neurological pattern still exist. So now his 18-month-old son, in my mind, in my books and in the science, has the same issue, causing him to be ultra-sensitive to certain foods that he can't handle, he has to watch out. And again, mom carries Claritin and is concerned about anaphylactic reactions. The connection is this. Subluxation in here, spinal misalignment affecting that nervous system, causing asthma, correlating to asthma, and the thymus gland development, and the suppression of normal immune function. Lots of allergies, poor nerve supply, poor thymus function, dad's asthma, same original spinal habits, spinal pattern, neurological habit. So what does this mean? Get your kids checked by a chiropractor and simple and whatever you might see out in the media yeah Australia this and other people worried and concerned I get it totally get it what we do is safe how we adjust kids is safe there's some videos available on my YouTube channel to watch and see for some that makes you more freaked out for others it makes you reassured you can't win every battle but here's what I do know when I take care of my own son it's gentle and what we're looking for is just stuck motion in the spine and I can literally do that much pressure in an infant's spine to adjust it to get it to release because it's not about back pain it's not about headaches it's not about neck pain it's about spinal neurological function and getting the body to heal properly i hope that shed some light for you check out some other videos here if you have any questions don't hesitate to contact find out more again google thymus gland you'll find out its immune function and know that that sits right here the neurological output is right here and a lot of immune sympathetic issues and allergies are going to be correlated. If you haven't got a great chiropractor and you're not anywhere near the Toronto area, ask me. I'll help you find someone in my network who I would send my family to. Take care. This point of the year, happy holidays and see you next time.